Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. From the title of the video, you already have an idea of what I'll be talking about. So I'll be telling you about what you need to know before you study medicine in Abuad, Afe Babalola University, Abdu Ekitsi. So if you're seeing my face for the first time, I'm Ifnaya and this is Ifnaya's face. I'm a medical student currently in my clinicals yeah so um hundred level okay let me just explain clinicals is from 400 level to 600 level 100 level we call them pre-med that's pre-medicine then 200 level to 300 level is pre-clinical first things first you want to study medicine abroad and then you go ahead, you purchase your jam form, you fill in Abuad as your first choice or yeah, you fill in Abuad as your first choice and then after that, you um, go for the jam exam and then you write the exam, get a score I don't know what the cutoff is but I feel like if you want to study medicine because I'm sure it's going to be it's competitive so you should have at least a high score after that, you write your work and then you pass your science courses including math and English. So the science courses are biology, chemistry, physics and then math and English. You should have at least a C in them. Then after that, I think when you're done, when you have your work results, you upload it on the school's portal. You have to create a profile on the school's portal, then you upload your results. So after uploading your results, I think the school will go through it and then if they see that you're eligible, you meet all the requirements, they're going to give you a provisional admission. After they give you the provisional admission, then you do, I think they'll schedule um, the post-UTME exams for you. The post-UTME exams will just be basically maybe some science courses, just maybe general knowledge. After that, if you pass the exam, they will send you an email of oh you've gotten the admission and all of that. So when you get the admission, you go ahead, you pay for your fees, start getting prepared for school, get your things ready when you come to school. When you come to school, you do your registration and all of that. Let's go to the academic aspects. In pre-med, like I said, 100 level, basically, the courses you offer will be science courses again. Biology, chemistry, physics, math. Those are the science courses you offer. And then um, we have GST courses. It's called GST, it's like general studies. So you offer general studies as GST courses and then affect courses. So the GST courses, I think it's um, English, English and okay, when I was in my time, the uh, GST courses were English, philosophy and um, I think library. Then the affect courses were French or Chinese. And the yes language so you either pick Igbo, Yoruba or Aousa so those were the affect courses and then for each for a session you have two semesters the first and second semester so for the first semester these courses I just listed are the courses you'll be offering and then for each course they usually have units so for the units a course can either be four units three units, two units, or one unit. So um, these units are just like, it just gives you, it just tells you about the magnitude, like the weight, I don't know, maybe let's just say the weight of the course or the amount of marks, something like that. So if a course is four units, that means you have to take it really serious because if you don't, it can um, affect your GPA or it can affect your overall result in a sense. Let me explain in the sense that um, Let's say um, chemistry is four units and If someone has a C The score will be lower. It can drop the person's GPA because that course is four units and A is very good B 
okay but see in a four unit or three unit course should not be something funny about this medicine or pre-med so um in all the departments if someone has a d like maybe i think a d should be from 45 or 47 or anything below 50 should be a d so in other departments if someone has a d it's not a problem like the person can still carry on like it's not a terrible score i think is when the person has an f that then it becomes a terrible score but in medicine if you have below 50 if anyone has below 50 that person will be dropped so that's just tell you that one course is very like all your courses are important even the ones okay someone can say oh math english chemistry biology physics i'm going to pass these courses and the other ones i'll just just anyhow like i'll just do it and so if at the end of the day someone has a's in math english physics biology chemistry and the person still has like a d in let me say a gsc course or an afa course that person will be dropped so that's why you have to take every course serious like take it seriously so the goal is to make sure you pass all your courses and the courses that have large units maybe four units three units make sure you don't um, flop in them yeah and there are people that would really want to get 5.0 because in pre-med okay in my time it was the only um, time we used gpa was in 100 level but from 200 level we did not use gpa but now i think 100 200 300 they now use gpa i'm sure there are people that, really, that want to get first class 5.0 so first class is from 4.5 to 5.0 so if you really want to have a first class you have to work really hard that's one and if you want to have 5.0 that's another one on its own you have to make sure in all your courses you um make sure you have an a in all your courses and it's attainable it's not something that's difficult you have to make sure you're doing everything your assignments make sure you attend classes study past questions when you don't understand something you ask questions to ask your friends or someone you think might maybe heard what the teacher said what the lecturer said or understood what the lecturer said so that's um, about it then for your second semester second semester is is the same with the first semester but the only difference is that you do a different course like let's just say i mean not really a different course your math is still there english is still there like gst then physics biology chemistry they're all still there i think the only difference might be one of the gsts if you might do a different gst and i think for second semester the different gst we did was um i think nigerian people and culture so that's just the difference i guess and then for the other courses i think we still did french like i did french like you either do french or chinese and then then for language you do either um Igbo, Aosa or Yoruba. And if I'm going to give any tip, what I'll say is attend your classes. Yeah, attend classes very important. Make sure you sit in a place where you can see the board, where you can hear the lecturer very well and yeah, where you can pay attention and just get the best from the class then secondly i'll say do your assignments make sure whatever assignments you're asked to do do them and then practice with past questions i think you'll find these past questions probably in the library you can find them in the library yeah practice past questions then read 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 and read make sure you read and if you don't understand something ask questions you can ask your friends 
or you can ask the lecturer make sure um you focus and concentrate don't be easily distracted because on campus there are lots of things that can distract you trust me lastly i'll say the most important is god 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 make sure you have a relationship with god because he's the one that's going to help you throughout med school like med school is stressful it's stressful it can be overwhelming even though not now so you really need god to help you and to guide you then um let's talk about founders award founders award is like how do i put it now it's like a reward for having a good result and that good result is first class like this award is just for first class students so that's from 4.5 to 5.0 and they have um, each category so that's about it and yeah just do your best then um these are bonus tips that i would just say that you should know be respectful like respect your teach your lecturers and just everyone around because in school they'll say we are not just training you to be the best we are we give training i think i don't know how they say it but i think it's something like we certify you in character and also in learning so be respectful to your lecturers to everyone you see around the teaching and non-teaching staff and your classmates everyone you see around just be respectful to everyone then um secondly i would say obey school rules yeah i think there's a handbook let me see if i can find it so um this is a student handbook yeah and you have the rules and everything you're supposed to do so i think they're going to give it to you when you come but make sure you're very like you obey the school rules yes it's very important obey the school rules and um lastly i would say just be a good student yeah not for pretense or just be a good student obey the school rules and you'll be fine yeah and our college um code like because each college has a college code or college color so for us for medical and health sciences we wear it if you've watched up to this extent thank you for watching and please do well to share this video to anyone you feel or think will be needing it maybe your friend or your classmate from secondary school or your sister or your brother please share this video and this is not just for i think um also people um medical students not just medicine itself medical students can also gain one or two things from this um like this video and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.